Do you love a sandwich? I'm going to show you how to use some of the approved products that we recommend and turn it into a kind of fun sandwich that you could have for yourself or it goes well with kids, okay? I am using Simple Mills, their artesian bread mix, but I'm gonna be making my bread in my waffle maker. So it's gonna look like a waffle, but it's gonna taste like bread. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a turkey sandwich. However, you can put anything you want in there. You can put buffalo chicken, pulled pork. Um, my kids love roast beef on there with some gravy. Also, I think it would work well with bacon, eggs, and tomatoes, or a BLT. So the options are endless. But what I do is I start off with one cup of this mix in my bowl. I do have a scrambled pasture-raised egg here. I'm going to combine that. I'm also gonna add half a cup of water, although I may add some more depending what this consistency looks like. We're gonna mix it up until it becomes a um, kind of like pancake batter, right? And then once it's all combined, at the very end, you're gonna add in about half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. But you do wanna make sure that the batter or the mix and the egg and the water is all combined first before you do that. Plus, we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil in there to ensure that it does not stick to your waffle maker. You could also make a pancake on the stove or a griddle if you would prefer to do that. Okay, now that it's combined, let's go ahead and add about a tablespoon of oil. Again, this is gonna make sure it does not stick to your waffle maker. And then at the very end, about a teaspoon of some apple cider vinegar. Once you get that going and your waffle maker is warm, whoa, then you're gonna pour it in evenly. This is gonna give me about four waffle or bread slices, I should say. Okay, we're gonna let that cook. So tonight, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a turkey sandwich. One of my favorite brands is Dietzel because it has no added sugar and it has no added preservatives. So make sure you are reading the labels. This one is their honey roasted turkey breast. I'm also using Chosen Foods Mayo as it is one of my favorites. I think it tastes just like the real deal. I'm gonna be adding some Dijon mustard. Again, read your ingredients because there are so many brands out there that are clean. And then my kids and I do love pickles. Grillo's pickles is so good and actually, you can, once you finish all these pickles, you're gonna have a lot of juice left over. Feel free to throw whatever vegetable you want in there. It's gonna soak up those juices and give it that pickled flavor. Plus I'll be adding lettuce and tomatoes. Okay, now that our waffles are ready, I am going to take two pieces here in order to make up my sandwich. And then I'm going to put the other two on the side for now. All right, here we go. So this looks like waffles. Again, I think a BLT would be so good, but we're gonna be working with a turkey sandwich tonight. And I'm gonna put mayo on each quote unquote bun, right, on each side. And then I'm going to be putting a little mustard on. You could do yellow mustard, you could do no mustard. The choice is yours here. Okay, now you're gonna be throwing on your clean choice of protein. For me, this is the turkey breast. Then I'm going to throw on two pickles. Perfect. Um, a little bit of lettuce for some crunch. And then tomatoes to finish this off. Then I'm going to stick it right on top. I love the triangle cut, but do whatever you like here. And then we have a clean waffle sandwich. Ta-da! Be sure to share exactly what you made so that 
you can show us what worked for you and it might work for someone else. Here is to taking your next sandwich to a different level.